the important part is to receive red cherry. There. This may not look much like coffee. That's a first step of quality. But this is the start of the coffee cherry fruit milling process. After harvesting and weighing, the coffee cherries come here to the receiving tank. This is the first step in the wet process. Inside of each one of these red cherries are two coffee beans. That's split out. There's your pulp. And those two coffee beans are wrapped in a parchment shell and also in a very sticky material called miel or honey. Next, it's time to separate the beans from the pulp. So this is called a coffee pulper. The cherries fall in here. The wheel spins around really fast and spits out these two seeds called coffee and parchment. The coffee cherries are then pushed along through a water trough and are sorted by water immersion. Bad or unripe fruit floats and the good fruit sinks. Top quality fruit moves to the final wet stage, fermentation. After as many as 36 hours, the beans are ready to get dried, either in the sun or in a mechanical dryer. After they're dried, farmers load the beans into parchment sacks for aging. By chance, the Rogers Family Company discovered that aging the coffee beans in their shells for three months actually improved the flavor. We started working with farmers directly and we couldn't buy their whole crop at once. So we asked them to spread the shipments out over months, April, May, June, July. And we found that the later months always tasted better than the earlier months. The reason? Storage. Like wine, resting raw coffee beans is a good thing. After letting the beans rest, it's time to get the raw beans out of their shells. These machines behind me are known as the peelers. What they're doing is taking the beans in their shells, rubbing them against each other to reveal the green beans inside. The exposed green beans get dumped through a screening process for yet another step in quality control. So there's a bunch of screens, different sized holes, 18 screens, 17 screens, 16 screens, and the coffee enters and it shakes the table and the screens fall down, the smaller beans all the way to the bottom, the larger ones stay along the top and it sorts them. The final step is a sorting table that forces the bad beans to the bottom of the pile so the best ones can get bagged and ready for shipment.